Alright, so <laughs> there's a reason behind those lights. We had somebody come through and steal some stuff from us in the morning before the sun came up. And so I set that up. That's a motion sensor, so it's going to help us out for this video. But welcome back to the channel, guys. It is dark when I leave for work now, and it is dark when I come home. But we're not going to let that stop us tonight. We're going to go ahead and knock this video out for you anyway. Today I want to talk about top five reasons why I chose the IS and Automatic in my new truck rather than a G56 or a 68. Now it's going to have some story time involved so I hope you guys keep up and stick through this all because I like telling you guys stories, it's fun. Aside from just talking to a camera, but it's getting a little chilly out here so we're going to go ahead and hop in the truck. Ah, uh, yeah, nice and warm. So, a little story about why I have this truck. Uh, it's kind of a bummer, really this is the most money I've ever spent and the truck just sits most of its time. Uh, because uh, I bought this truck for a daily driver and a tow rig if it needs to be. It's going to back up my 5500 if it had to. It hasn't had to back up my 5500 yet, but if it's if it happens, it's here and it's ready to roll. But a series of events leading up to this, it was one vehicle after another that weren't quite what I wanted. And I thought, what the heck, you know what, I'm just going to get what I want and be done with it. And uh, it was a relief actually buying the truck, actually, rather than trying to search for the right vehicle then I, you know just getting it was a uh, weight off their shoulders but when i decided to actually you know what let's go look at a new rig uh i wanted another stick shift as far as like the stick shift crowd goes that's all i've ever really been and it's all i ever really cared to be was stick shift especially with a dodge diesel you know with a cummins in there because that was always i think i still think a stick shift truck is badass uh but I went to the lot with the idea that I still wanted a G56 truck. So I get to the lot. They had one there, a uh, Mega Cab 3500 dual wheel. Man, that truck was sweet. So I test drove that bad boy. Oh, I hated it. I just I forgot how gutless a G56 truck is right off the line. The factory rating is like 600 foot pounds of torque versus uh, the ISN's got 930. So right off the bat, before I even drove an automatic one, I was like, man, I, you know what? If a new truck is that gutless, I don't really care to drive them. I don't really care to buy one, I mean. So, I was I was a little let down, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to save a bunch of money. Don't even need to buy a brand new one. I'm just going to go on with my day, not even worry about it. Well, about like a week later, I happened to be at a nether, nether lot. Uh, it wasn't for me. It was for my sister. But across the street, they had some of these trucks, so... I wandered over there and somebody wandered out and talked to me so I thought what the heck you know what I'll take one of these for a test drive so it was like it was a uh, Ram 2500 single wheel obviously coil over rear suspension with a 68 manual transmission it was a mega cab uh, take off of that thing and I thought wow this truck is freaking awesome the power is great. Uh, it shifts freaking smooth. It's like the ride was absolutely excellent. I love that truck. I would not mind actually buying one of those. Shifted smooth. Great power. That was like right then I was like, you know what? I think I could buy an automatic truck. I think the way these new trucks are with an automatic is great. And that was the first reason why I decided I would go with an automatic over a stick shift and that is the factory horsepower right off the line is just awesome compared to the stick shift the stick shift is so far derated i know you can get power out of it's the same stuff you know you can tune delete do all that stuff but for a brand new truck i didn't really care to do that because 
it's got a warranty and that's defeats the purpose of really buying a brand new vehicle for me so rule number one was the power that you lose versus the power that you gain with an automatic versus stick shift so I went with the power and reason number two is because again with the power uh, with the power increase your tow your towing capacity increases and so at the time I was in love with the 68 it shifted freaking smooth but I go back and I'm talking numbers with the salesman and he's showing me what the tow rating is with the 68 versus an ISIN. And apparently you can't get a max tow load with the 68. And this truck is rated 30,000 pounds on the gooseneck ball, pulling power, however you want to put it. So at that point, when he set, when he tells me that the 68's not rated for what the ISIN's rated for, I was like, well, gosh dang, I've only driven the 68. We go out in the lot, we test drive an ISIN. In my opinion, the difference between a 68 and an ISIN, I love the 68, shifts super smooth. ISIN, eh, I mean, if under power, shifts nice and fine, but it does not quite shift as smooth as a 68. And I test drove like five or six of these trucks before I got this one. But went out and test drove it, and I was like, gosh dang, all right, you know, if that's what I got to do to get the max tow, because it defeats the purpose of me getting the truck if I'm not getting the max tow. The more I talked to people, ISN was the way you wanted to go anyway. So that was reason number two why I went with the ISN automatic is because that's where you get the most horsepower and that's where you get the most tow rating out of it. You have to have that combination. It's a high output with uh, 385 horsepower, 930 torque, and you can tow 30,000 and some change behind the truck on the gooseneck ball pulling. And so... Right there, those two reasons, 100% why I picked this. That was like the initial start of why I chose that. So, first two reasons knocked out. Third reason, I would say, secret part of me always kind of wanted to have an automatic for the ease of drive to town, drive around town, drive in traffic. Don't have to be clutching all the time. Don't have to, don't have to be moving this hand around. Uh, so I'd say... The third reason is so I can drive down the road. It's not distracted driving, but I can still function. I can grab my drink, get a drink, and I can eat my cheeseburger driving down the road and without having to worry about shifting gears. And that, my friends, that is a big bonus. Tell you what, because coming from a stick shift truck to something that you can, you can eat your food and do all that stuff, you can't play with your phone or a camera, but uh, that is freaking sweet. Uh, that is a luxury that I am very much happy to have. Reason number four. This one's kind of a stretch for me, but I don't really let too many people drive my trucks, especially, well, there's no anything that's got a Cummins in it. I don't really like people driving my stuff, but the stick shifts, I don't, it's hard for me to let somebody or anybody drive one of those trucks because if they're not monitoring, you know, EGTs and stuff like that, I feel a little weird like if I was on a road trip, they wanted to drive, you know, what's the boost going to be doing, what's EGT is going to be doing if they're climbing a hill and not downshifting. But with a stock automatic, there is no worries about any of that stuff. Anybody can drive this truck just like a car. These things are, I mean, it's a big bulky vehicle compared to like a second gen. Like the dash is like eight feet long. The hood is nine feet long and it lifted up. I don't know why they did that, but the visibility kind of sucks, but these things are absolutely comfortable to drive. Uh, actually, Taylor's the only one that's driven this truck besides me since I bought it or the sales guy that drove around the lot the other day, but anybody can drive one of these things. So I can feel a little bit better about somebody going out with a stock truck with an automatic because it's simple as driving a car. There's nothing to it. But... The absolute, okay, number five is kind of like the hell yeah, I want an automatic for this one reason and this reason alone. And a little story before I show you and tell you what my absolute favorite thing about the automatic truck is. Uh, back when I was in, I lived in Wyoming for about a year, went through some nasty temperatures out there. That's the main reason why I came back to California because uh, pretty much anything below zero is cold. 
anything below like negative 20 is like what are we doing and then beyond that it just feels the same it's just terrible but i drove a 96 12 valve the one i did the five speed swap on i drove it out to wyoming and had to plug that mother in every night in those cold temperatures and i would have plugged this in just the same but every morning to get up i had to be at school at seven so i had to get up at like five get everything ready and i'd go fire that truck up like half an hour before i needed to leave uh the absolute number one so happy about it is and i'll show you real quick we'll go out here truck is off right now this is just i love this feature on these trucks and it doesn't just stop at this but two little That is by far, 100% my favorite, hands down feature about having an automatic truck is a remote start. And it doesn't, it's not all just with this. And I don't know if other brands do it too, but I can start that with my phone from anywhere. The farthest I've done, it's about a mile, but my phone can start it. Gotta hook it up, you gotta pay a little fee annually, but remote start, I absolutely love that. Remote kill, that is my favorite feature about one of these automatic trucks. So when it came time to think, wait, if I get an automatic, it's gonna have remote start. And that's stock, that comes right off the line. Um, trim package, I guess, is the option that the remote start is included with, but, oh, that is, that is my favorite feature. Coolest thing last year, we came out of the movie theater and it was snowing. You know, I got the whole family with me. I got my dad, my girlfriend got my cousins and stuff we're all riding in the same truck and i'm thinking gosh dang i'm over at the window i'm remote starting the truck i look over there's another dude doing the same thing we both kind of look at each other just a little head nod for acknowledgement but we get out to the truck it started and it's warmed up and like in the summertime a little bit more info on one of these trucks uh like in the summertime you fire up the truck if it's whatever degrees outside it'll automatically turn your air conditioner on and your cooled seat same thing in the winter time it'll turn your defroster on turn your heated seat on i don't know if it does a heated steering wheel but either way it does some of the book work and leg work for you without even having to go out there and that when the salesman and myself were talking about what's going to happen and what's going to be on the truck i right off the bat when it came to the idea of just that stuff alone i thought oh yes that is uh that was like the major selling point when it came down to it once i made the decision that i could be in the automatic crowd is the remote start and it does all that little goody stuff for you so when you come out of the theater or dinner with your lady you fire up your truck from inside the the restaurant or whatever and it's freaking the temperature is the right temperature inside the truck and you're just stoked on it yeah uh, and it just temperature and everything's just just right inside the truck and you, you're comfortable as soon as you sit down in it and you can head on down the road so those are the main reasons why i i chose the isn and i have not regretted anything about this truck i've regretted pretty much well, let's, I've owned like at least 12 of these trucks, Dodge Cummins trucks, and the three I have now, uh, I wouldn't mind a combination of all of them, but this truck, I absolutely love this truck. Uh, do not regret one second of buying this truck, but story time on my truck and bits and pieces of my life, and if you drive a Ford or a Chevy, that's cool, I don't care, that's up to you. They say they got more power than this, but gosh dang, these things move. If it's got more power than this, that's awesome. It's just incredible that they can do that with def and all that stuff right off the line and still deliver that kind of torque, that kind of horsepower, pulling power. It's unreal what these trucks make these days. We're getting close to 3,000 and let's see here. We knocked out the jackets, the giveaway jackets. We finally got those in. Uh, both the boys that won were actually a large and a double X. So I didn't have those in stock. So we ordered them so they get the right size so they get what they want and they get something that's gonna work for them. 
So I might wander over there and show you guys those jackets real quick. And uh, K-Dub and uh, Joshua Russell. I hope you boys are watching this video because I'm going to show the jackets out for you. Hopefully we'll get those shipped out in the next day or so. And let's see, what else can I tell you? Oh, I did a little testing around with my 08 last night. If you saw my VGT Turbo was acting up. I swapped back to the Mini Max, took it for a rip. It was still acting up, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to get this thing nice and hot. EGTs with the Mini Max, they climb up real quick. So I got it. I got some pretty decent EGTs. Nothing too extreme, but it kissed some high temperatures for a minute. Uh, it was acting up as soon as I went to the Mini Max, and I did that run, that hot run. And the turbo started acting normal. Like, the turbo functions fine. Boost pressure and everything worked completely fine. But the exhaust brake was, it was surging, and then it stuck once. Uh, it stopped surging. It didn't stick anymore. So, fingers crossed. But we did hear from pack brake, so we got some good news coming from that end. So, regardless of the functionability of the, like, with the, regardless of the functionability with the exhaust brake, with the VGT turbo, there's going to be a pack brake installed on my 08 very soon, if all goes to plan. So be looking out for that. So the truck seems to be doing good. I'm going to be towing with it next week. Fingers crossed. Knock on wood as always. Where's some fake wood trim stuff. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to show you guys the jackets before we officially end this. <music>